How's it going everyone? My name is AJ and today I'm going to answer a fitness question. If action movies have taught us anything, it's that most of us will spend a few moments hanging off the precipice of a building at some point in our lives. In order to survive, you'll need strong wrists. And although you may think your wrists are stronger than the average bear's, hearing or feeling a snap or click each time you move them may sow seeds of doubt. Perhaps it's a specific exercise or position that triggers the noise. Or maybe a simple flick of the wrist is all that it takes. This might not cause much discomfort, but it's completely normal to wonder why is this happening? Is this cause for concern? And is there anything that can be done to silence the symphony? I am going to answer all of these questions from a scientific perspective. Before I go any further, please make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to ensure you stay up to date on new videos. Assuming you are not experiencing any pain when the noise Noise takes place, crepitus at the wrist is most likely due to some form of muscle tightness or tissue damage located within the forearm or hand. Maybe you overdid it a bit on the keyboard or some other wrist dominant exercise. Perhaps you inadvertently braced yourself for a fall and didn't notice the effects until later. Or maybe you've been spending a bit too much time using your wrist for other activities. Regardless of the actual cause, the muscle, tendon, ligament, or other damaged tissue could be located anywhere from the distal elbow to the palm of your hand. Now, one thing you should know is that there are a lot of structures packed into your forearm. Over 20 different muscles occupy the forearm and proximal hand, which play important roles allowing your wrist to bend, extend, rotate, and deviate a number of different ways. Any one of these muscles is susceptible to tightness or stiffness due to underuse or injury. This creates a somewhat complex situation since it's not not easy to pinpoint exactly which muscle is responsible for the problem. To add even more insult to injury, just because the noise is heard and felt at the wrist joint, this doesn't necessarily indicate that the wrist joint is the precise source of the problem. In fact, the damaged area is much more likely to occur closer to the elbow joint, where the majority of muscle fibers are located. Simply put, the noise at your wrist is a symptom indicating a problem at the joint or elsewhere that likely requires your attention. So is this something you should be concerned about? I wouldn't worry too much about it, at least not now. Your body is pretty good at healing itself over time, and assuming you're not in any pain, it is unlikely you will cause significantly more damage directly from the noise. But I do encourage you to do something about it, especially when you're younger and your muscles and other tissues is much more receptive to change. In some cases, unresolved crepitus can lead to pain, arthritis, and other injury. So while I have your attention, let me show you a few tricks that might help minimize and eventually stop the noise. As I mentioned earlier, most of the muscle fibers responsible for making your wrist move are located closer to the elbow joint. Mobilizing these spots will reduce tension, increase blood flow, and promote healing. Grab a lacrosse ball or something similar, and using a flat surface, roll your forearms on both the anterior and posterior sides. Feel free to bend and extend your wrist while applying pressure for added stretch. If done correctly, you should be going no higher than 6.5 out of 10 on the discomfort scale. Spend about a minute or so on each side, making sure you target each specific soft spot. When you're done, try moving your wrists around and see if you notice a decrease in noise. If you do, there's a good chance these key flexors and extensors are part of the problem. If smashing doesn't work, try this easy lateral wrist stretch. Grab the noisy wrist at the base of the palm with the index finger and thumb of your opposing hand. From there, pull your hand away from the wrist and slightly deviate your wrist towards you. You should feel a gentle stretch on the outside of the wrist in addition to maybe a popping sound. Hold for 20 seconds or so and try moving your wrist around again to see if it's making any more or less noise. If stretching and mobility aren't helping, you may need to incorporate wrist-specific exercises to fire up the appropriate muscles. 
from the ground, position the back of your hands on the ground with your fingers pointed at each other. Extend both wrists until you are on your knuckles. Repeat 8 to 12 times. This drill, commonly used in combat sport, is an excellent way to strengthen the wrist extensors, which are very important for pretty much any overhead lift. This drill can also be modified on a wall or a high plank position depending on your strength levels. Give each of these methods a try and let me know what you found out in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it, share it with your friends, subscribe, and turn notifications on. Thank you so much for watching and stay strong.